I wanted to, first of all, say thank you for believing in the Tibro project. Hopefully you guys who know cars have seen the quality of the products here. I have made sure that every single component is world-class, a genuinely world-class. The chassis has been stress-tested, torsional-tested, press-tested. The co composite parts are made in an aviation factory in Europe where you have to have ISO sign-off to make composites. The, um, I mean, just handling the aluminium parts. Yeah, and deliberately, I have made sure that the price is accessible to get kids building cars. Darren and I have worked together for about 10 years now. So this genius here said, well, hang on a second. Let's take some of these broken masters. Let's combine the master MOT failure with the Alpha 158 Inspiration car, and let's create a product that anybody could do. People build this product, have fun building it over you know, weeks, months, or as long as it takes, and then get in the car and then they drive it. They go to track days like this. Mm -hmm. So one thing that we're gonna be doing today is that you're gonna be handed over to some instructors who are gonna let you guys loose in some track day experiences. So we wanna say thank you for being patient, for believing in this project. This is my passion project. I would like to create a community of people that want to enjoy what they do, get together. They are a new Tito Dawn. You guys are the first people to get US uh, based kits. There's 10 kits in here for the first 10 US customers and that's just worked out chronologically. Whoever got in there first gets the first 10. And then we have an 11th car, which Darren and I are gonna be using today as a demonstrator on how to build the project. For some bizarre reason, I'm just holding the door. I saw Ant special on TV, and then uh, I started uh, looking for an MG chassis, and I came across this kit, so obviously make life easier this way than trying to do what Ant did on his special. I don't have that kind of skills. I just want to build it with my kids. Occasionally, if we can join them, one of their friends will be great. But mainly with my kids, they are 12, 10, and 6. They all love cars. Uh, and they're anxious to get their kid come and help me build it. All right, good afternoon, folks. How's everybody doing? Good. Yeah, they're awesome. My name is Danny Bull. I've been Chief Instructor here at the Radford Racing School. Well, at the first, thank you very much for coming out and spending a little bit of time with us. Uh, this is a very exciting project that you're a part of. Uh, and, you know, the, the fact that, that we're able to, to conduct this here is such a special opportunity for us as well. You know, I, I've been working here at the Radford Racing School uh, for 25 years. So Danny and I will be out in front of even our, our instructor cars, and we'll be leading about a group of four or five drivers behind us. Yeah. All right. So this is all about communication, right? We want good communication between each driver in line because obviously the best seat in the house is right behind Danny and I, right? So we're going to be showing you guys the proper racing line around the racetrack. So the better you are at driving right where we're going, the better chance the last guy has at seeing what's going. On the street, everybody's got a different plan. But here, we're all planning to do the same thing. And as that information gets relayed from the instructor car to the first car, it's his job to relay that information accurately to the next track. How did we hear about Tifa? Uh, well, my business partner is a lunatic, 
and constantly scours custom car things, mostly British things, Italian cars. And uh, he saw it, and uh, like lunatics do, bought it the next day. Uh, my version of this is to take his insanity, use my engineering skills, and hopefully get my kids into the shop in a while, and you know, build something awesome. Look at that thing, man. Now this, this car has been um, manufactured to be uh, user-friendly, so we'll start with the body. And the body's actually only made of a nose cone, a bonnet, a scuttle, a tail, and two sides. When you've got your pedal boxes fitted, get yourself comfortable in the car. You've got the choice, the two foot plates that are in there. You can either leave them in the car if you've got small feet. If you've got large feet, maybe size 10 and above, you might want to consider taking those plates out of the car and then the big floor that we had, the under tray floor, your heel can rest on that and you'll gain two inches for your, for your shoe. So as I said, this is, um, this is a, a, a pride project for you guys. Uh, there's, nobody, um, there's nobody monitoring you. There's no judgment. There's nobody criticizing you. If you want to leave it rusty, yeah, that's the essence of building specials, is you build the car you want for your needs. It's amazing uh, how these guys very, very nicely put it together. I would say no, absolutely no um, hesitant that uh, this will be a car that I'll own forever. I'll probably pass it on to friends, family, kids. The completion level of the kit, I mean, uh, the build quality of, for this thing is fantastic. It is next level and the ease of the supply for the parts the miata parts and things like that so much thought and detail has gone into the engineering thank you darren is that it's just there you're never going to find any other kit car that even comes close to this this is the pinnacle of kit cars right here action <laughs> well this is kind of a funny thing i didn't even know it was called a tipo at first uh, I, i'd been a big fan of wheeler dealers so i would had watched ant through the years and I think one summer session, he, he started building this car. And I just thought it was fascinating. And I've always enjoyed his, his hands-on kind of approach. So that's, that's kind of where it started. But sometime later, on, in an unrelated conversation, I was talking to my best friend, Sam. And, and he says, look what, I, look what I'm going to get. Look what I'm going to build. And I said, oh, that's funny. There was this guy on TV who was building a car like this. And he told me, well, it's, that's the guy. <laughs> and that's, that's kind of where that all came from. And like I said, we're deliberately putting on this tatty stuff to show you the worst case scenario. It is too. Right? These guys are dropping off the suspension, so the dampers, they, they go off the car. Um, and then Darren's going to talk you through some extra things you need to do. Right, the whole ethos of, of the design is that yeah. I, don't I, think wanted, was I wanted to design the car yeah. to drive like a pre-war car. And there's no yeah. point going through all this pain if it drives the experiences the same yeah. as a Miata. I've only just noticed he's got Radford t-shirt and helm. <laughs> yeah. Like just now. Uh, honestly, guys, I, I just want to say a big thank you. Thank you for believing in the Tipo project. Um, I've really loved today. I love this is everything that I love doing when I grow up uh, being a car builder. And I know Darren has done the same. Um, Darren has to take all the credit for this project. Um, this project is brilliantly engineered, as you all now know. Oh, yeah. There is a high level of quality in this car. Um, because we want to put really cool, safe, enjoyable cars on the road. And uh, this project wouldn't have been possible without Mr. Darren Collins. Yay! 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 Yeah. Sorry. 
This is this was the trial run. You guys are the guinea pigs of American Tipos. Um, and uh, I, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing um, pictures, updates. Uh, the pioneers. I love this. We want, to, um, we want to make sure that we um, build a TIPO community, so if you put your builds on, on videos, pictures, share them with loads of people. If you have any questions, everyone's got Darren's email. <laughs>yourself or, or your father-son project. This would be a great father-son project. And they spend the time building it and it becomes kind of a part of the family. And I don't think you ever sell it. I think it just becomes one of those things that you want your kids to have it. And I, all you have to do is keep readjusting the seat or maybe a pillow underneath or, or something and, and, and it all turn out fine. How much build experience do you have? Lego? No, not much. 